Can I help you? You gonna tell everybody what you were just doing? Were you in the plants? You're not supposed to be in the plants. That didn't take her long. Kitten. Starting to, well, she's not chewing on him, but she's, you're gonna, that. Haven't actually seen her chew yet, but a lot of sniffing and pawing. Apparently, Parrot wants to join in. Hey, everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm great. Gotta keep things moving today. I have big projects going on outside and wasn't even prepared, really, to film this video. But I got plants in the mail when the plants show up. You gotta film, or you wait a day like I did, you put one of the boxes outside, it gets rained on, turns to mush, and then you pick up the camera and go, okay, well, here we are. Got a couple different plants here. A little one, a big one, same plant. Let's see how they compare. A little one of the same plant as the big one. It wouldn't make a lot of sense for them to be two different plants, so let's compare the two different, right? No. Okay, all right, okay, guys, you gotta get out of my way, but Turbo, that doesn't work. Move, Turbo, get back. Good boy. All right, after you, Turbo, there you go. This is going to be great for a side-by-side. -side. Got this box right here, and then the mushed-up, rained-on box right next to it. So, windmill palms. That's what this is all about. Palm trees in general, things being an interesting price. I was going to say overpriced. I don't want to go quite that far. I love windmill palms. I've got the one over here. have a few more. Great palm trees. Pretty sturdy. I'm here in 6B, 7A. Could put them in the ground here if I want to protect them during the winter time. I don't, so I keep them in pots. There's a pot. Oh gosh, okay. it is so freaking cold and windy. That's better. You can still see the palm tree from right here. I want more. I've wanted more windmill palms for a while. The problem though is that the nurseries around here don't sell them. I have my palm dealer who I can reach out to to get some more big ones like this. Those are going to set me back probably 700 to 1200 bucks a piece for really big ones. I thought maybe I could try and find something smaller. Wait a few years to let them grow, right? Save some money that way. This one's been potted up in this container for a few years now. I want to say it was probably two and a half feet tall in 2017. Seven years. Yeah, not the fastest of growers, but that's okay, because I got to move this thing inside every winter when it drops below about five degrees. That's when I like to move it. Or really below 10 is when I like to move it in. And pots, that's just the way it is. They don't grow very quickly. So they tend to cost more money in the ground you get a lot more out of them over the time that you have them. Cut to these two plants over here. I know, this is all very informal, but it is so freaking cold out there. And even if this guy wants in, you know it's not nice outside. So, if you're someone like me and you like palm trees, you shop around for them a lot, you may have noticed over the last few years there's been this trend where growers are taking palm trees that are not very big, sticking them in fairly large pots that are way too big for them, and selling them for the price of the plants that should be growing in those pots. Buy a 15 gallon palm tree that's, you know, maybe two feet tall when several years ago that would have been a proper plant that's so probably about five feet tall. This has been going on big time with the windmill palms. Prices are all over the place. But I did find what I thought might be some good deals on Home Depot's website. I've ordered shrubs from them before and they've always come in looking pretty good. Only problem though is there's a lot of confusion when trying to figure out which ones to get because the prices were all over the place. Some things were labeled as gallon size versus the inches of the container. When you go down to the specifications for the plants though, you're able to see how big you should expect them to be. What I decided to do just to resolve my curiosity was get the cheapest one and get the most expensive one. This one right here, I think it was $49.99, three gallon pot. Online it said it should be 28 inches when it arrives. I assume they're measuring from the bottom of the pot and up. This one right here was 133, I believe, and they were saying it'd be 45 inches high. If that's true, then this is a very good deal because a lot of the times the windmills you see online, if they're over three feet tall, they're a few hundred bucks. It just costs more when you're not down south and you're not where they're growing them. Getting them up this far north always costs more. This one right here, 44 or 49.99, and I believe they said 28 inches tall in a three gallon container. I typically know what to expect when I see those specs on a palm tree, a three gallon pot, which is not much. And what I'm seeing in here is not much. Oh, I've seen worse, so that's not too bad. It's about what I <laughs> was expecting. And what I was expecting was pretty puny. So hence my lack of disappointment here. That's what I would call pretty pathetic. And really, I'm probably gonna be having the same reaction as the other one. That's just a guess based off of the weight of the other one. Uh, uh, $49.99, nah. There's the tag. Doesn't really tell you all that much other than who grew it. The people who put this tiny little plant in this 
three gallon pot. It is rooted in here. One of my main issues with the over potting of the palm trees, is oftentimes you're paying for the roots on a plant. As long as the plant is actually rooted into its container, then I'm not all that bothered by them being over potted. It's when it's just a plant that's been shoved into a pot with tons of soil around it, hasn't rooted out into it, the time hasn't passed, you're paying for time. And if that time hasn't passed, you're just throwing your money away. This one, it's in there, so it's rooted has a decent sized root system on it. It's okay. This is what I would prefer to spend more like 30 bucks on, but it's all right. Now this one, the very sad one, <laughs> it got some rain on it yesterday. Huh, 133 bucks. Does that look 45 inches tall? It's probably hard to tell when it's in the box. I can tell you but that is not 45 inches tall. That's not even close to 45 inches tall. That might be maybe two feet from the soil and up thoughts. I know I sure have plenty. This is unfortunately basically what I was expecting. So if you notice the lack of outrage, it's because I d just kind of figured. It's 133 for 45 inch tall windmill palm. Seemed way too good to be true. Want to see how big they actually are? Let's have a look. Start over here with the little one from the ground and up. Looks like that's going to be um, 28, 30 inches somewhere in there. The end of this fan. <laughs> this frond is bent upwards measure it from the surface of the soil which is how it should be measured more like 20 to 24 inches all right and then the big one over here that is maxing out i would say at about 36 37 inches and then again move it up to the surface of the soil if i can get that to hold still in there looking like about 24 to 26 inches that's not even close to 45 inches in either direction. 10 inches off with this one, this one, I mean, okay. You can see just from looking at these, from looking at the caliper of the trunks that they have and the maturity on the fronds, which isn't much. Those fans haven't pushed out into all that much, but there's still some baby fans over here on the one on the left, one on the right. I'm not seeing any baby fans left on this one. I would say that the one over here on the left, the $50 one, that's probably only a year behind this one. So next year, this one will be bumped up into that container and then be sold for three times the cost. That's just the way things are grown. To me, it's more just about the cost. Used to be be seeing windmill palm about this size and that size of a container. Maybe not the most ideal scenario for the plants, but they grew just fine that way. As long as you got them planted up and you weren't keeping them in their nursery container, that didn't matter. When things are sold in a nursery container, traditionally, the thought is that you're gonna put it in the ground or put it into a larger pot. But yeah, like I said, some things too good to be true. <laughs> there was no way for 133 bucks I was gonna be getting a windmill palm via mail order for that size. Locally, if I look around hard enough, sometimes I'll find a windmill palm in a three to a 10 gallon container. They're usually twice the size, for around 70 to 100 bucks. That's the route I'll be going. Ordering them in the mail, that doesn't seem like a logical thing to do. I'm not gonna call it a scam or anything, but we're 10 inches off here on the size. Should that have cost 133 bucks? What do you think? Comment down below. My opinion? Oh no, that should not be 133 bucks. You want to get that up to the 45 inch mark like you said? Maybe. But otherwise, no, that's a 50 to 70 dollar palm tree. Uh, not into it. Thumbs down. I like the plants themselves. They look fine. They look healthy. They were shipped okay. This one's pot's all busted up, but it doesn't really matter. One nice thing about the pot being busted up is I can see that there's a pretty good root system in there. So that's good. Healthier the root system, healthier the plant, the better that plant's going to take off. God, this wind is freaking ridiculous. Way too cold out there. Hey, Tubbs. All right. Yeah. And yeah, I'm wearing sandals. I didn't feel like putting on shoes and pants just to go out and film a quick video. Comment down below. Say hi. I hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> Thoughts, opinions. Do you know some good sources for decent sized mail order windmill bombs? Drop it below. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye.